let's understand functions functions can be created using the fun keyword and then you can provide the name of function suppose I want a sum function give it arguments num1 and num2 and give the logic num1 plus num2 so this function will give me the sum of two digits so let's try this sum of 5 comma 1 let's check the preview once okay so the sum is 6 over here now let's try to modify this suppose I try to give a string so I'm getting an error like it's saying you call the function plus with these arguments num and string but it expects array any date period local so we are giving the wrong argument right that is what it is complaining so what we can do is we can also make it typed like I can say that I just want number and number so if we check now the error message would change now it is saying that I call the function sum previously it was plus so it didn't even reach over here it's at the sum function level it's at the argument level so it says that number and string were passed but it was expecting number and number so th this is how you can make it strongly typed by defining the type of the argument so now if I pass the correct value I get the proper sum there is another way you can use any function having two parameters you can use it as 5 give the first argument then the function name and then the second argument you get the value as 8 so this is yet another way you can use functions now what if I want to externalize this function I don't want to keep in this data view I want to access it from outside if, if the function is huge then it makes sense to externalize it so what I'll do is I'll go to the SRC main resources folder create a package and I'll give it as my modules finish let's create a DW file functions dot DWL now you don't need to give any headers or anything you just need to mention your function like function sum then num1 type is number num2 type is number num1 plus num2 so the function is ready let's go back to the flow and let's just remove it so it's throwing error now so what is the error too many arguments for function with parameter values okay so let, let's just make it simple I'll just pass some 5 comma 3 now does it still give me the error yeah so it's saying too many arguments but there's no sum function defined over here why is it complaining about too many arguments so what we can do is this is the sum it means that there is already a sum function existing right so what we can do is just do a control click on the sum function and it will take you to core DWL so whenever there is a data view script by default the core module this is a module so core module gets imported by default and this core module has a function called as sum which takes input as an array so that's the reason we are getting the error so how do we resolve this error how, how do we actually get the function sum that we have defined in a custom module that is my modules that's simple use the import keyword then you can simply now since it is in a package right we created a package called as my module so you have to give the name of the package my modules double colon 
for referencing then functions so it will import it but the error still has not gone right so what you can do is you can use functions double colon and the error will go away now it will take the sum function from the functions module so if you see we are getting the output as 8 now there are uh, a few different ways as well like you can do import star from and in that case you don't need this even in this case it will be able to identify here the function sum is overloaded because it has a type has two numbers it can take two numbers whereas in the core it takes an array so it's overloaded but since we have already imported it's able to identify that this sum refers to the module function if I remove this it will throw the same error right too many arguments so because it is you now referring to the core.dwl instead of functions.dwl now let's remove this so we have understood how to externalize it now what if I again give a function name as sum let's add one more function sum and this function adds does takes num1 number and num2 as number same function as the one present in the functions module okay I'm just using the same function equal to but the implementation will be different like I'll do num1 plus num2 plus 1 okay I'll, I'm adding one extra to it so now what will happen see we are getting 9 so what happened over here this sum was fetched from this data view function instead of going to functions dot dw so we have overridden so whatever the function is present in the data view script that you're writing that will override any other imports so that that's the catch over here now what if I still want to access this my module functions sum what we can do is instead we can use aliases like sum and then as my custom sum and instead you can refer as my custom sum so it's giving you the value 8 right so we saw how we can do overriding like using whatever is present in your script will override the imports if the name of the function and the parameter that it takes are the same and if you do not specify anything no import no function and if the function exists in core.dwl it will be taken from core.dwl because the core module is imported by default now let's try to overload the function like fun sum it takes num1 number num2 number and num3 as string or let's keep this keep it as number for the sake of simplicity now it's not necessary that you make it strongly type it could be you could leave it as blank but just for ease of understanding I am making it as number and then we can add all of the three num1 plus num2 plus num3 now let's just call the sum function so we are getting 9 what if we pass another input like 2 so we are getting 10 so what can we conclude that it also supports overloading of the function we could see overriding was also done we had successfully overridden the core function sum with the one that was present in this file 
and even if you import that also gets overridden by the function present in your data view script so overriding and overloading is supported over here now let's quickly add one more function I'll add a subtract function fun subtract and it will subtract two values number then num two also should be number num one minus num two all right it's giving me some error okay so let's check the error okay duplicate parameters okay fine I'll change it to one and now I just want to call some let's see if the subtract function works properly or not subtract 8 minus 5 what is the error not enough parameters expecting at least two parameters but got okay made a mistake yeah so we are getting three now let's do some modification like I want to do a sum of two numbers like suppose five and three then I want to do a subtract so what I'll do is I'll pass subtract with this two values right subtract and then let's subtract five from this okay so we are getting four uh, it's because we are adding in the sum function we are adding an extra one over here so that's the reason we are getting four well that's fine but if you observe this carefully you, you see that it, it's a bit difficult to comprehend the code right from the readability point of view so just a while ago we saw a slightly different mechanism to frame such statements right like five sum three this was the way we did it right so it gives nine like five plus three plus one so the same thing can be followed we can simply add subtract and then we can subtract 5 from 9 and we get 4 so this is where it is useful like it, it's now very clear to understand that okay 5 sum with 3 then the output of this subtract it from 5 so that's the reason such uh, construction is available it makes the code more readable so the criteria for this is that it should have only two parameters like both the function sum and subtract have two parameters and only then this formation of statement will work now you can also pass function to a function as its data view supports functional programming we can pass function to a function so let's just create a functional a functional function and I'll add an item which is of type string and the second parameter will be a function so my function all right and this let's write the code for this my function my function my function will operate on the item that we get right so we have created a function that takes a string input and a function input and that function applies on the first string input right so let's see this in action like I'll pass functional I'll give two values I'll give my name and I'll pass a function upper so what do we get we get the name in uppercase so that's how we can use 
we can pass function to a function so if you're kind of confused with this upper function it comes from the core dwl module there's a function and it's using the native method so just a point over here that when it says native it says it means that it's internally using scala in the background to get the value so it passes the value and gets it from the scala code now let's go back to the script and what we can do is let's make some changes to it now instead of passing uh, pre-existing function let me pass an anonymous function uh, item then hyphen and greater than symbol and what I'll do is I'll add item plus plus s let's see the preview yeah so s got added let's try to modify this so s a got added so this way we can also pass anonymous function right let's try a different flavor of this like let's use vishwas and then call this functional and then pass the upper function so we get the same result right again let's call functional and let's pass an anonymous function item item plus plus s okay this should be a string so s got added so this part since functional expects two arguments right first one is a string and the second one is a function so we are giving an anonymous function whereas in the first case if I remove this in the first case we are giving a string we are also giving a function but this is an existing function so this is not an anonymous function and in the second case I'm giving an anonymous function alright and when I do this type of construct like I get the output and I again use some another function which has two arguments this phenomenon is called as chaining of function the way we did for sum and subtract so this is called as chaining of function when you chain we get the output of this and this output becomes the input of this functional and then we pass the function to do further processing so this is chaining of function